they took up on Fred And Island. I have a daughter that's a school, school teacher yeah. in Paradise High School doing special education. So are you, are you involved in the Paradise High School football team specifically, or are you just mainly one of the trustees? I, Where are they going? I visit the schools. I wonder if they know that we're Am involved. Am I anything else with the football team besides a spectator? No, that's not my job. But as a trustee, we're in the process of taking care of all the facilities that come through the board. Funding comes through the board. Everything that has to be done with, with the football team or anything else in the school is done through the board. We're all elected members. There are five of us from the community. You should play the ABC game. I'm here on assignment from our, our superintendent. Asked me if I would like to go down with them because they needed somebody, a board member, to be represented. And since I have been a coach, Highly involved in sports, officiated sports for 35 years, college and high school sports. They figured it was a natural fit. I'm wearing mine because I got ugly over it. You got your hat on with a lot of pins. You want to do it? Actually, it's not a 49ers hat. It's a San Francisco Giants hat. Oh, I see now. And all the 49ers fan. No, but I will root for them today because they're playing the New York Giants. I have been a Green Bay Packer fan longer than your parents have been alive. But for over, you know, over half a century I've been a Packer fan. This shirt is so warm though. And it's so nice that Aaron Rodgers, Instead of wearing Pleasant Valley colors, he gets to re wear the green, you know, the green and gold of paradise. So I'm guessing, do you live in paradise? Yes. Okay. And have you lived in paradise for the same most of your life? Did you move here? Thirty years. I've had five kids go through the paradise school system. You know that have been very successful in their lives, so do it. So I've been up there, like I said, for a long, for a long time. And like a lot of the others, yeah, my home is gone. But we're going to rebuild and stay there because you know we're just stronger together. It's that simple. So now I'm at 40. Could you tell me a little bit about the day? It, it actually started the day before. Okay, Wednesday afternoon we had a, a meeting. I was in the district office and I met with the assistant superintendent and our chief business officer. And we had received a call from PG&E telling them they were going to turn our power off. We had to make a decision. Do we go ahead and have school? On Thursday or not? But I didn't do it. We decided that we were going to have school and treat it like a, a snow day and do whatever was needed at the whatever particular time. So we held school, uh, which is a tremendous important decision because if we didn't have school, I feel very firmly we would have lost anywhere from 60 to 100 lives because all these kids would be at home at 10 o'clock in the morning with no parents who are at work, not knowing what to do or where to go, or try to go by themselves or hunker down in their homes. And I'm very confident that the death toll would have been much higher. So I'm really thankful that the decision was made to have school so that we could transport those kids down to paradise and to go ahead and have them reunite with their parents. Our teachers and bus drivers are the heroes. Our teachers threw kids into their own vehicles. My daughter's a teacher at the high school. She had three special education kids in her car that she drove down through the flames. Our bus drivers went through the flames. Okay, with our students on it. But some things are like But those are the ones that their parents couldn't get come and get them, but those are the ones that would have been home with no one there. So 
you know, the story is a lot different than a lot of people understand I, I all the other things, but you're going to find a lot of heroes are coming out, the way people have helped each other. We will reopen our schools. We will do it. We will make arrangements for those that are elsewhere because they're transparent. We are working on a bill right now in the California legislature that will give us continued funding for the next three years that we receive right now during the transition period to go ahead and do the rebuilding. We have the buildings there now, but we won't have all the students because they're scattered the far and wide. I've noticed that some of the metals our, our students, our parents are very resilient. Absolutely, it's going to make them strong. There is no question about it. But one thing that is fantastically important and pressing is the help of aid we're getting from everyone and the support, whether it's the Gridley High School football team, you know, wrapping their goalposts with paradise colors, the West Valley team putting a P on their helmets. Uh, every school, every school in Chico, you know, throughout the state, uh, you know, are, are giving us things. The donations from, we got a $14,000 donation from Nevada Union up in Nevada City. But we're getting donations from all over the world to do it. We've got a lot of people working throughout the United States. We have graduates from Paradise High that work in the White House that are making sure that any issues we have out here with bureaucracy is cut through. What? So we have those people there that are Paradise graduates that are doing all these things. So a lot of things are happening a lot of people aren't aware of. You know, as a school board member, I'm aware of a lot of those. But there's a lot of things I'm not aware of. And a lot of those are those individual stories of students and how they got out and what happened. And so, you know, I live on the bottom end of Paradise. I just had to go on the Skyway. I didn't live on the back road where I had to go through a lot of things. So I got out fairly easy. Quickly, you know, within 15 minutes after I left, my house was gone. But, you know, there are others that are in much worse condition than what I am. You know, I, I own a home, I have homeowner's insurance. We have a lot of renters, people that live day to day that don't have that opportunity. We also so have, one of the things is the school board, we take care of the finances. We have sent a letter to all of our staff, teachers, kitchen, bus drivers, custodians, everybody on our payroll. Because we have the second largest payroll in Paradise that they will continue to receive a check. And we're going to make sure that they do that. And if I have my way, they're going to continue to get it until we're up and running again, no matter what they were doing. Thank you so much for your time and your words. Thank yeah. you so much.